Let's look at type 3 word problems on solving systems of linear equations of two variables. You have a total of 21 pens and pencils on your desk. You have three more pens and pencils. How many of each do you have? So let's define our variables. So let's say x equals pens, y equals pencils. So we have a total of 21 pens and pencils. So we can say that our first equation is x plus y equals 21. The next thing we need to do, we do is we look at three more pens and pencils. So more means we're going to add. So we know that it needs to be equal. X has to equal Y. If I have more pens and pencils, I need to figure out where I need to add. So if I currently have more pens, then in order for the pens to equal the pencils, I'm going to have to actually add three to this side. Okay, so now that'll be equal. Now just to test this out, let's pick just a random number. So if I know I have three more pens, let's say I have 10 pens, and then if, that's, if this is true, three more pens and pencils, how many pencils do I have? Well, I'd have seven. Then let's say I have two pencils, how many pens would I have? Well, that would be five. And then if I had four pencils, then I would have seven pens, right? Now, in order to make that equal, to make it equal, what am I going to do on uh, with the each of these values? So this is 10. In order to make it equal, I need to add 3 to the pencil side. So same thing for this one. If I add 3, then those will be equal values. And so I have to add 3 on this side, and that would be equal values. So you just kind of have to think about it and see where you're going to put it. Um, if I added more to the pen side, which is what you know, it seems like we should do, then we would make the pens even more larger, which is not what we want. We want them to be balanced. We want it to be equal. So what you would have to do is you would have to go ahead and uh, add to the other side. Okay, so kind of opposite to what you think it's going to be. So let's go ahead and solve. So this one, we are looking at x plus y equals 21 and x equals y plus 3. So we could do elimination by moving the y, or what we could do is substitution. So x is isolated, x equals y plus 3. So at the top, we're going to substitute the x value with the y plus 3. So let's go ahead and do that. We will have y plus 3 plus y equals 21. So I just substituted in. Now we solve. This becomes 2y plus 3 equals 21. Then I continue to solve, so I subtract 3 from both sides. So I get 2y equals 18 divided by 2, so y equals 9. So now that I know y equals 9, I need to figure out my other variable. So I do that by plugging it into one of the equations. So I'll go to take 9, and I'll plug it into this one right here. It doesn't matter which one you choose. It'll still work. So we'll plug it into here. X equals Y is 9, and then plus 3. So X equals 12. And remember that X is our pens, or our pens, and the, nine, the Y are our pencils. So another way to double check whether or not you substituted or added in the right spot here, then let's double check. Do I have three more pens and pencils? I have 12 pens versus 9 pencils, and I do have three more, so that is correct. So if I write my sentence, I can say uh, you have or I have, you have 12 pens and 9 pencils on your desk. So I hope that helps out. Let's take a look at this example here. There are a total of 52 students on the soccer team and the field hockey team. The field hockey team has 12 more students than the soccer team. Write a system of linear, of linear equations that fits the situation. How many students are on the soccer team? And we can call that X. And how many are on the field hockey team? Y. So they already defined our variables for us. So X is soccer. And... Y is hockey, so those are our variables defined. So there are a total of 52 students on the soccer and field hockey team, so we can say X plus Y equals 52. Then the next thing we need to use is the 12 more students. So X equals Y, so it's pretty close to being equal, but the hockey team 
has 12 more students than the soccer team. So hockey team is currently larger. So in order to make it equal, I have to add 12 to the soccer team. So x plus 12 equals y. So hopefully that helps you in at least setting up this problem. And then you solve again by substitution. Let me write this just a little clearer for you. And so that should work out for you. Now let me tell you the answer to that one. So the hockey team Y is going to equal 32 and the soccer team X is going to equal 20. Okay, so hopefully uh, that helps you out. Make sure you show all your work, of course. And then let me just show you the uh, how to set up number 10. A building has a total of one bedroom apartment, so I'll call that X. And then two bedroom apartments are Y, so a total of 60 one bedroom and two bedroom. There are twice as many one bedroom apartments as two bedroom apartments. How many apartments of each type are in the building? And you're going to use a system of linear equations to justify your answer. So the first thing is we defined our variables. X is one bedroom. And then Y equals two bedroom. And then let's see, there are 60. So we can say X plus Y equals 60 apartments. The next thing we need to do is look at there are twice as many bed, one bedroom than two bedroom. So X equals Y, twice as many. So twice means two times. So the bedroom, the one bedrooms are definitely, there's more of the one bedroom. So to make it equal, I have to actually multiply times the Y side, two times Y, then that would be equal. So this is your system and go ahead and solve again by substitution. And I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.